Good afternoon. Here we are. We're in the uh, studio again. We're just going to do a biscuit kiln opening. There's the kiln down to 45. So I've no assistant today. So I'm going to put you on here. Hopefully it'll, it'll work because I had it working there. Stop wobbling, stop wobbling, please. There you go. So we'll open this kiln and see what's in it. It's a biscuit kiln, so I know it's all, uh, all biscuit fired, but it's just hope it's, hope it's okay. Right, first off, some bowls. A couple of general purpose bowls, there's four of them. It's been like, um, it's difficult to, when you have a small kiln, you have to pack it, you have to pack it really well. These are new, new handles I'm doing, they're a little bit thinner. Um, I went mad and bought these dies, that's, see, in comparison, that's one of my old handles. And that's one of the new ones, just a little bit daintier, that, well, that one's got some, some lines on. Uh, there's a tank in here for someone. Here, look, so if you see, it's quite a nice, a nice shape. Um, proper rail ale. See? So you've got to get your orders in. A couple more here. Something to do with they don't like IPA. And uh, what's the other one? Porter. Porter, start drinking porter, apparently it's lovely. Right, these these are quite nice, I like these. They, they've come out well with, with the uh, bladder rack detail. Yeah, quite like them. They'll be nice when they're, when they're glazed. A couple of bicycle mugs here. See, I'm doing, I'm doing mugs in pairs for Etsy. Um, start. I'm going to start selling them in pairs. Well, just I'll try and do them in pairs. Um, yeah, there you are. That's one with dainty handle again. Quite nice. And then that one. Whoa, Harry Potter. Can't keep up with them champs. They're flying out at shop. Etsy, Jolly Potter. I know I keep plugging it, but. You have to do, there you are, Scotty Dog, it's the only revenue we've got a minute, there you are, little Scotty Dog, I don't know if it likes catching that properly, let's have a look, let's have a look, is that better for you, oh there, there you are, little Scotty Dog, a little bit of rough there, I'll just sand that off before we, we glaze it, you having that one, bit fancy isn't it, bit fancy for me, Couple of beakers. These are the housewarming present for my son. But uh, I can show it on here because he's young and trendy and he doesn't use Facebook or YouTube. They don't use it apparently. They're all on. They're all on something else. These are for. Um, these are for a friend of mine. With a B and B. Well, of a restaurant attached to it and uh, these are for serving their their starters so let's hope they glaze well it's one thing biscuit firing stuff it's another thing as well isn't it when you you do a you do a glaze firing and then you open it and you think oh bloody hell that's all I need yeah See that theme of doing stuff in pairs. A couple of, a couple of nice mugs there. What have we got in here? Oh, another Scotty dog. And that's just a spiral. Spiral, and that'll work well with new new glazes we've got. We've got some cracking glaze from Mako. I'm only using their glaze now, uh, after years and years and years of frustration and torment. Um, 
I've opened some some pretty poor kilns in time I've been doing this but uh, knowing that you've got a decent glaze now a de decent glaze combinations brilliant there yeah that's a hair can you see that that's a hair oh that's just the plain plain spiral mug they all are so they've just got they've got throwing rings in that's it hasn't been put in any different other than I've just thrown it and it's ended up like that and that one when I threw that I just thought oh, it's too nice to oh we're going to bellow it out and whatever and I thought no it's too nice but it wants a nice big handle there yeah nice big handle on it that's what it's got and then last one again white stoneware just with spirals that'll be lovely I'm going to try and get some glaze to drip down but obviously not coming off don't want it knackered in the kiln shelves uh, that's it we're all empty in here just check these these props out we'll have a quick butchers in here yep gone because sometimes having a tiny kiln I might have a sprig mould that um, I might have a sprig mould and I think oh I'll fire that and I fire it in I fire it in underneath my bottom shelf where no one else is looking and, uh, and do it like that so for instance the bicycle that's a sprig mould for my bicycles so I put my clay in that and tap it out cut round it and then apply it on and that's motorcycle badge that I do Panthrona club and then probably what I'm most well known for is is your dirsh dirsh of all you see and I hope that's been informative let see what we're up to hang on I'll get you back now and there's a few more bits here cat mugs these are doing well people like a cat and I can, uh, well, hang on, I'll show you. I think I've got, hang on, I might have one still. Because I have sold some. And uh, there we are. There's a cat mug here. And we can do with your cat. We'll do with your cat any way you want. So if that's, if your cat's a ginger, ginger tom, a white one, whatever. Uh, we can, we can do with your cat. However, you fancy. So that's that's where we're at. Oh. Anyway, there you are. That's what's bobbed out at kiln today. So I'm gonna to have to get a bigger kiln. It's uh, it's what is it, a 90, 90 litre. I'm gonna to have to get him, I don't know, a bigger one. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Next video will be this lot glazed or some of this lot glazed as well because we've got quite a lot of biscuit wear now building up um then these come out last time the uh, lemon squeezers and quite like them so anyway i'll see you all later next vid bye